I mean, I just know it, it's frustrating for Snake to set up his usual grenade stuff because, um, because of Young Link's projectiles of his own right. Yeah. Also, again, he's he's not super difficult to combo, and we have a character like uh, Young Link who has super good combos in that regard. Yeah. So it can definitely be a uh, little bit rough for Snake sometimes, but he can he can still work with uh, this matchup. He can kill Young Link really early. Yeah, it's mainly about how, how does Benji use his like movement with the grenades to actually approach uh, Young Link and not get camped out so hard. Yeah. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now. Fletcher. Yeah, next time, uh, if Vinny G knows that Skittles is going to try to jump from ledge, he might be able to just hit him with, with a neutral air to bait that out, too. Oh, okay, nice crouch. I forgot Snake can crouch under arrows. <laughs> That's the crazy Pretty thing good. about Snake, too. He has a really... He's one of, probably one of the best low profiles in the game. Alongside Kirby, obviously, and other characters. But nonetheless, here, Skittles looking for an opportunity here. A couple fire arrows just to try to poke through. Boomerang setup. I like the Zare just because he wants a little bit more pressure. Nikita okay. in play? Nice. Nice. Catch that neutral grid up. And that's the thing about Young Link and all the Links, too. They can actually get through the missile from Nikita if they time their hero spin just right. Nope. Not letting him get that down tilt. Ooh. Yeah, I'm good on skills for getting off that platform. If he, if he got down thrown there, it would have been really bad for him. Opportunity. Oh, oh, not enough here. Yeah, only remember, only 160 usually see snakes through it. Can be weight dependent on some characters on specifically because Young Link is a little bit on the lighter side. So yeah. I do appreciate Vinny trying to try that. I think at lower percents you can go for a down throw F tilt instead. Oh, but there's the C4. Skittles got caught sleeping at the wheel a little bit. Didn't even see that he was standing right on that mine there. Yeah, man. Sometimes you might autopilot thinking you have a W, but you never want to count Sneak out. He's definitely one of those characters that forces you to not autopilot. And what a quick little landing option for Vinny G as he gets nice. the read from the grab as well. Very good stuff. This is where Snake can have a good time in this matchup. He does die there, but yeah, getting the stock lead and be able to make these trades and rack up all this percent uh, against Young Link is very good for him, considering how early uh, Young Link dies in comparison. Ooh, great tech on the platform. Skills wasn't able to follow up off that down tilt. Nice. nice. Jab wanted to grab here. Yeah. Once again, setting up the up smash. I like that play yet again. Because, of course, the napalm does fall back and it forces a lot of options if you go for a low recovery. Z drop from Skittles. Looking for a look at, He's looking for a quick little play here. I like that. Okay. Goes for the Nikita setup again. Mm hmm. Lower recovery this time. Not going to go for the Zare or try to go high. Oh, he blew himself up. That was oh, good man. for Skittles, though, because like, there's specifically good reason why he went for that down air. And it kind of like shows it why. Lower recovery this time? Yeah, but unfortunately, oh, yeah, the C4 is in play. Really good stuff. You don't see that that often, either. Getting the C4 on the lower recovery, but it's still very good. Forward tilt. Once again, the up smash. Good from Skittles to come up with the aggressive forward air. Taking a little bit of center stage here. But, uh, nice on the boomerang, though. Kind of breaking through. Oh, catch him dropping shield. I don't blame him going for that forward smash. So good to kill early at the ledge. Yeah. Go for Skittles to mix it up, though. He'll go for Zare. He'll go for Hero Spin. Great oh. pressure on from Vinny G. But Skittles with yeah. the boomerang. Forward air. Stage control. Another opportunity. Nice from Vinny to go for that jump at the last second. Yeah, I'm really impressed with how um, Skittles is getting out of these pressure situations on the ledge with all these explosives. He's really He's well aware still of like, playing like, so yeah, he's aware of what Vinny wants. That big pressure that Snake can do with all the projectiles. Oh, Snake's in the back here, though. Oh, The not bomb enough. isn't enough? Right. Oh, man. Never forget, ladies and gentlemen, Young Ling's bomb is on a six-second timer. And that'll be Vinny G with point one on the board. And, of course, shout-outs to you guys in the chat predicting who will win the set here. 58% so far for Skittles. With a 42 on Vinny G, I don't know, man. It's a little early to call, but uh, Vinny G taking game one definitely has a lot to show. Yeah. That was a pretty close first match, honestly. They're both playing the matchup pretty well, so.
Yeah, the movement from both players is super good. They both just have such good control of their characters. Yeah. If you guys are in the chat or if you guys are watching the YouTube ball, you guys can participate live every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific Center Time. That is West Coast, Best Coast time for all you guys in the East Coast out there. And you guys can catch your votes here. And who will win the set? Of course, so far we got uh, Vinny, uh, no, sorry, Skittles has to be winning over Vinny G, but we'll see how that changes because Vinny G does have the first point on the board. Mm -hmm. This is another set, like, I, I wouldn't be surprised. It goes to game five. Both, they're both so good. And the matchup itself isn't uh, super heavy in any character's favor, I feel. We are on Kalos here. I I'm pretty sure Skittles, man, his, his main goal is to have as much space between him and Steak possible to get these subs to work a little bit more consistently. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, nice. nice. Down catch him I there. I like how he was waiting for Vinny to kind of choose the option of how he was going to react to it, too. Sometimes the best, mi the best mix up is no mix up at all. Dash attack, a bomb in place. I like that too because he tosses that grenade on that platform, forcing Skittles to have to reevaluate that landing. Oh, that was so good. Not gonna die, but I like the waiting for the boomerang to come back to hit the nether. there. Wow. Up smash and player, and it was in both the grenade. So he just gets like a clean kill without even trading at all. Nice punish on the landing. Back throw. Back throw. Again, Skittles playing really patient at the ledge. Nice. Well, he's only catch that back air. Not enough to kill, though. But I do like how he's using the uh, Kyle's platform. Yeah. You see it a lot from Vinny G more than Skittles, where he is covering that platform a lot to force Skittles to reevaluate how he's going to land on the stage. But there's the up tilt. Ooh, 16% from one grenade. Dash attack to break through here. Vinny with the setup yet again. Covers that platform. Oh, man. Great crouch again. <laughs> He ducks under quite a bit of a uh, Youngling's moves with that. Yeah, boomerang, fire arrow, even bomb toss at the beginning. Unless it's the bounce. I think grab as well too. Yeah, grab. Okay. Oh, it doesn't hit him out of the cipher, but there's the up air. Yep, that's good. The up air will be enough to hit him out of the cipher in that situation. Remember, you must pass within a seven to eight percent threshold to get sneak out of the cipher. Oh man, Vinny G making use of these parries to just close the gap. Gets the C4, he's not enough to get the kill. A lot of pressure on the ledge right here though. Yeah, pressure. Oh my indeed. goodness. Vinny on the landing here, trying to make something happen here, but he goes for the roll dash attack. Skittles with a premature up smash. And Vinny with the rocket here to make the play. Go from Skittles to go for that lower recovery. Back throw. Did he uh, hit the Nikita there to I negate the I think he did. Oh, it doesn't even matter. He still falls into that C4. Nice, dare out of shield. VG looking good on this Ooh. stock. Oh, the hard call out on the neutral get up. There's the four smash. Died at like what, 40%? I don't know, something ridiculous. But a huge, <laughs> huge read from Vinny G You're to not close that out. Right? He actually did die within that 40% threshold. Let's check a look at the predictions here. Still 46% up to Skittles probably taking the set. Vinny G on the, I'm sorry, Skittles on 54% with Vinny G at 46%. I don't know about you guys, but if you guys cast that vote, uh, looking mighty wrong right now. Man, Vinny G is a perfect example of a snake player that makes use of all of Snake's tools. Like, how often do we see F Smash kill like that? <laughs> that is very, very true. All right, well, potentially the last set between these two here. Game three, you guys know how it goes. We're back on Kalos yet again. Skittles trying to make something happen. You just want to get on the board at least once in this set. Right now, though, after hitting that force smash, man, who knows what type of momentum VG is working with in this game. Nice back throw into the C4. Almost gets a nair on top of it. 73% unanswered already. Skittles kind of scrambling to get some control of the match right now. Yeah, yeah, with each start. fire arrow, that's enough for him to actually push in a little bit with neutral air. Not able to fully connect that back air. Yeah, and these are some really good cross-ups on shield, too. Yep. Ooh, but that C4, man. So Look sneaky with the drop. fear verse, too. He's, like, constantly changing his momentum in the air when he's using these projectiles. So it's not easy to get a read on what he's going to do. Great use of the crouch again. 
crouching under the arrow and getting the down tilt to whip punish. That's what separates a lot of player strides, man. Knowing when you can actually crouch under moves, specifically with Snake, it's such a big tool to have. Oh, what a good C4 trade coming off from Vinny G, man. Getting the best of both worlds. Man, he didn't even care if he hit him. So he's like, I'm heavy. You weigh like a paper. Like, <laughs> I'm going to take the C4 and the stock B right now. Oh, man. He's just running circles around him right now. Okay. Back to the ledge. Oh, good on Vinny. He had the C4 on that platform, and that did stop Skittles in his tracks. That's the one thing, like he wow. says, right? He's using all of Snake's tools in this matchup to get the best results possible. Yeah, Skittles is struggling to find an opening. The parry on the down air as well. BG I... is racking up so much percent. Another yeah. parry. Back air, nice oh, play. Nice back air. Forcing the tech. Oh, the he had nowhere to go. That back air was completely unavoidable. Oh my B goodness, BG nice. down there from the beer versus two. He's moving way too well right here. Another crouch under the arrow. Okay, that neutral air finally is going to take the first stock, but man, Skittles, he has so much to do here to bring this back. Okay. This is the back air. Nice. With the reverse back air, doesn't get the second one here. Skittles is looking for those combos for the percent so he can push a little bit more advantage. Down throw and the bomb explosion against Snake as well. Nice, yeah. Using the down throw to uh, get through the grenade explosion so he uh, doesn't get blown up himself. Yeah, honestly, he can't really afford to take too many hits in this situation if he wants to bring this back. So he's yeah. not only is he trying to get like, these combos to work, but he also doesn't want to, you know, risk trading too. Yeah, for Skittles in this situation with Vinny with such a huge lead, you don't want to trade. That's the last thing you want. Yeah, and he's doing a good job right here. You have to get touched too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, no C4. Arrows, but I oh. like that Vinny able to get through the center stage. Once again, with a setup Ooh. here, he says you can hold the grenade, but can you hold the C4? That gear verse was nasty, man. And crazy, like crazy stuff from Vinny G. It's going to close that out 3-0, super, super solid, like 